The next segment we're going to uh, deal with will be the uh, upper molars. <coughs> and uh, as we agreed earlier, with the exception of uh, 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 film, change, film position change, all the principles and the, and the rules are exactly the same. So, uh, if the molars are the teeth that uh, need to be radiographed, then all molars should be showing, and the only way to do this is by making the second molar in the middle of the uh, sensor, so that the six and the seven and the area posterior, the, retro, uh, the uh, maxillary tuberosity and the distal of the five will be showing. So, if you want the molars, then you ask your patient to open and look, have a look at the teeth. See which teeth are present, which teeth are not, whether they are present, all of them or not. And this mannequin, the upper eight is partially uh, erupted. Nevertheless, even if the teeth are not present, uh, we will follow the same rules because uh, we are not only the, after the teeth, we want to see the periapical area, any residual pathology, any unerupted teeth, uh, too many reasons to do the radiographs. We don't, we're not in this, we're more of the technique. So, if you want the molars, the, this is the first molar. Second molar, this one, will be in the middle of the uh, uh, sensor, so you introduce the film, just trying to avoid uh, touching anything, ask your patient to open, and then once you reach the second molar, you flip. Okay? Once you reach the second molar, you flip the film so that you will have, can you see here, two millimeters extending just like in the premolars, two millimeter extending from, from the palatal cusps, not from the buccal cusp, so that we don't have overextended films, okay? And the two millimeters should be even from the uh, front margin of the sensor backwards. We don't want this relationship. See, if these are the teeth and they are, see, going upwards, uh, we follow the arch. We follow the arch. We don't concentrate on this area and we have a, f a film extending more than two millimeters in here so that the teeth, the, see, we don't want this relationship so it should follow the, <coughs> sorry, arch uh, and uh, I will guarantee all teeth will be shown. So, sec see, second molar and then you simply, as now it's extended, I'll push it from the back. Second molar in the middle. This is for the film position. I will use my free hand to support the film in the place the way I want. And this is against the crown of the tooth. Next, I will guide the patient so that he will support the sensor on the crown of the tooth. Very simple pressure. We don't need the film to uh, 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 slide. See, two millimeters. I will show you how it looks from here. Hopefully, I can, I can show you. See, this is how it looks. Okay. Now, with the film placed, you ask your patient not to move, and then we will shift to the other uh, part, which is the where uh, or how should we direct our beam. The beam is directed by, or the point of entrance is directed by dropping a perpendicular line from the uh, uh, outer canthus of the eye. The pupils were used for the premolars. Now, if you drop a line, try it on yourselves. <coughs> if you drop a line from the outer canthus of the eye down to the molars, it will fall exactly on the upper molar, first upper molar tooth. So this is my point of entrance, okay? A line, uh, a junction of a line between the outer, uh, from the uh, outer cuteness of the eye with the, with the, with the outlet vagus line, one. Second, I will direct my beam perpendicular on the tooth. Reflect the tooth, see where is it, okay? Now the, the, the beam is perpendicular on the tooth, you will have elongated image. This is reduced vertical ang angulation. Have a look, see, see where your film is, and then you direct your beam perpendicular on the film. See, the angle here also differs. Wide palette, I have to increase. Narrow palette, I have to decrease, okay? So in this 
case, now this is perpendicular on the film, then I will direct it midway. Midway is, in, in the upper molar, is an angle of uh, plus 25, 20 to 25, as you can see in here. Okay? <clears throat> Again, this is not fixed, depends on, the, on your patient. So the vertical angulation is adjusted, point of interest adjusted, vertical angulation is adjusted. Now I will uh, uh, concentrate on the issue of the horizontal angulation. In the horizontal angulation, you will see that I will direct the, the beam. Remember the uh, uh, metal, uh, metal uh, or the pen, I need to uh, make the pen pass in between the teeth, in the proximal surfaces. See here, it is overlapping. Here it's overlapping, but here it will be, the beam will pass uh, uh, perpendicular uh, on the buccal surface of teeth. So the beam will be passing in between the teeth. I will not have a concat. Here, uh, sorry, I will don't have um, overlapping. Here it's overlapping. Here it's overlapping, but here it's when it is perpendicular on the buccal surface of teeth, uh, there is no overlap. <coughs> the last thing to take care of is the uh, uh, complete coverage and again I will stand behind the patient see I'll, I'll, I'll show you how I'll stand behind the x-ray reflect the cheek reflect the cheek and see the, the the margin of the film see the margin of the film is here and the cone is backwards so I will have definite cone cut what you do is that you include this margin with the with the uh, uh, within the uh, rim of the um, uh, of the cone okay see now it is included so point of influence outer canthus with the outlet regus vertical angulation now we know how to do it horizontal angulation and fourth is the complete coverage what once you're sure that everything is done you ask your patient not to move uh, check again if the film has moved or uh, slipped, especially with the sensors being covered in slippery uh, covers, okay? And then once the exposure is done, you reverse what you're doing. One, two, support the film, your finger, ask the patient to remove his finger and then take the film out of the oral cavity without touching anything.